Hello, and in this video tutorial brought to you by How To Tutorial Videos, I am going to show you how to create a Web 2.0 logo for your website, web page, or anything on the web. Okay, let's get started. The first thing you will want to do is go to File, New, and set it to the size we want. Which in this case, I'm going to make the width 700 and the height. 600. Then click. I'm gonna click OK. Okay. Once it's once it's there, we're gonna make the text for the logo. So click on the text tool and choose a text. Recommended some pretty cool text so it doesn't bore anybody and it dazzles them when they look at it. So let's take on, let's take your text tool and let's actually first let's put some rulers along the side and you can put them there by using the by using the sorry by using the ruler tool up in window sorry view rulers right here okay once you have the rulers on put two rulers on the ends just like that and then put it towards the middle and it'll automatically snap like just like that and drop it then drag one down to the middle that'll be the middle right there okay once you have that done you need to go over here to the regular rectangle tool I'm just going to change the color to black for right now just drag it along the line and it will automatically snap Except for the ends, which we cannot put rulers on. Okay. Once you have that, so actually, let's bring them down to the edges. So I can drag them from the rulers. Okay. Once you have that, let's go over the text tool and let's see how the circle. You do not want to do that. Click. Actually, yes, click. And then make sure up here it's in the middle. Where it is cent it is center. Now let's bring it all the way down to the middle. Actually, just above the middle. Once you have that done, we're gonna put in. Uh, let's see here. Demo. Let's see. I'm gonna make it white real quick. Demo. I was gonna be demo. Okay. Once you have that done. Let's go over here to the layers. Double click, double click where you have it, so you can add some effects, a little layer style. Let's go down here to the inner glow. Click on it, and for this you can use any color you want. For right now, I'm going to use blue. You can use any color you want. Use blue, and make sure the blend mode is set to normal, so you can actually see it. And let's make it. Let's bring the size to about 7 pixels. Then let's go to the outer, sorry, let's go to the stroke all the way at the bottom. Click on it and you'll see fill type as this color. Change it, to a, change it to a gradient. And let's make the outer style, let's make it a uh, linear. Let's make the gradient. Let's make it some pretty bright colors. See, uh, here's an example right here. Pretty bright colors. Looks pretty good. Once I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep it at that for right now. Once you have that, we are going to add a. Well, not we're gonna. I won't get to that. Like that. But then the best thing we're to do, we probably go to the internet and add a background image. But we're not gonna do that right now. Actually, first I'm going to go to the wand magic tool. I'm going to click on it. Sorry. First, sorry. First, click on everything. Click on the text. And then shift, left click all the way down so it selects everything. And then right click and click merge layers. Click on it. Okay. Once you have that done, click on the black. And delete it. Click in between your letters. Delete it. In between your letters. Delete it. 
Okay. Then you will probably want to add a background to it. So let's first crop it down to where I can see it. First, let's add some rulers to the top and bottom of my logo. Rulers on the top, rulers on the side. Okay. And well, let's go over here to the rounded rectangle tool. And let's put a rounded rectangle over it. Don't worry if it shows up like that. Take the shape one and put it below. Actually, first, okay. You go under here and you need to click layer from background. And click, make it layer zero. And then drag it below it. And then double click on it on your layer. Let's add a color overlay. Make it normal and make it black. Now, the reason it is not showing up. Oh, I see. Okay. Make sure you have your history panel open. It's very important. It shows everything. And go over to the merge layers and click right above it. I'm not going to merge it for right now. I'm going to click on the background, actually on the shape, the text, and click. Actually, sorry, we need to. Actually, we're going to keep the text, but first, let's just do this. I'm not going to add anything to the background except I'm just going to add a bevel to it. Go to bevel and emboss. And click OK. Sounds like a good thing for it. Now let's get the crop tool. I want to crop it down. Make sure you don't have anything selected. Crop it down about the size of your picture. I like that. Enter. Okay. Make sure you get the whole image. There we go. And then click up here. Click all the way down to the background. Control click or right click. And then click flatten image. Okay. Thanks for watching this video. And remember, rate, comment, subscribe. Okay. Thanks for watching.